and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. I'm in Leeds at the moment in the Victoria Quarter, which anyone who's from Leeds will know is just an absolute gem in Leeds. They have the best shops. We're working on something really exciting today. I'm taking over their Instagram account. So you'll be watching this after we've done it, but I'm gonna leave their link for their Instagram in the description box so you can go check it out because we are just about to watch some of the shows live. Fashion Week on the live stream. We've got them on the computer here. Here's the lady. Mum slash photographer oh, slash PA yeah, yeah. slash all of that and we're going to be watching the shows and then we're going out into the shopping world of the Victoria Quarter and recreating some of the favourite looks and then posting them on their Instagram and doing a blog post all about it. It's very exciting but please do go check out the Instagram post that we end up doing at this point. Who knows what they're going to look like because I don't know. We haven't done them yet um, but the first show starts at 10 which is in two minutes time so we're just going to go and watch that one and see what we see. Okay guys, so we're kind of halfway through the day now we've done this. We've done two outfits already. One that was inspired by Roxander and one that was inspired by Air Dev. And this is our second one that was inspired by Air Dev. I just really wanted to check in and show you because it's my favourite one so far. So the shirt and the jacket, like ties and unties, so we've got it to dress. Both from Sandro and shoes from Kurt Geiger. And I really, really like this look. Anyway, I really like this look, I just wanted to share it with you. Good morning everybody, it's close to 11 and I'm just editing last week's vlog now and the number of times last week's vlog I'm like, I'm so on top of my work, I'm just doing so well, I'm so pleased with myself this week. I hate past me because present me is having the worst time with work, it's only Tuesday. Yesterday was really, 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 really good. Um, did I vlog at all at the end of the day? No, I don't think I did. Um, it was really, really good. We were in Leeds all day. Um, it was really good fun. We got some good content, all of that. Um, and now today I'm desperately playing catch up from everything I got behind from not being like at my desk Thursday, Friday, from being in London and yesterday. And I'm feeling like I'm drowning in work right now. So what a difference a few days can make to say that last week I was like, oh I'm doing so well with my work. I was wishing it like, oh shut up you, you are so annoying. Just cut my own fringe. I'm getting quite good at it. I've been doing it myself since I got it cut in. Because my hairdresser just told me to do it every couple of weeks, don't leave it for too long. And when you do it, work out the bit you want to cut. So if you want to cut this section here, look at it and then mess around it a few times and make sure it keeps falling in the same place and then do it because then you don't end up cutting the wrong bit but I could even do it a touch shorter it's kind of just sat on my eyes there huh, I'm pretty pleased with that um, I'm just doing some work I've done pretty well today actually I've got quite a lot done which is good just shut up for a second I'll sit in my case and um, I'm waiting for Harry to come back from uni so I can go and meet him to take a picture and I need to go to the post office and I want to drag him with me See if he's messaged, he's not messaged me back on that one, which probably is a no. And I think I'm just going to have a bit of a chill evening and try and finish work a little bit early. I'm going back down to London tomorrow for an event with Zolando and a few other bits that I sort of had. There's kind of always a lot going on this year in terms of events and things. And normally I don't go down just for the odd thing. But when lots of things turn at once, it's nice. It's nice to meet people that you speak to over emails and stuff. So I've got a couple of things on Thursday and obviously... Orlando and I can't wait to see all the team there again because I've not seen them since I was in Berlin so really really excited about it actually I've been looking forward to it for a little bit the, looking forward to it since they mentioned that they were doing it which is gonna be really good and yeah I'm just gonna finish up the work basically and keep going I'll probably work until about six today I think an hour and a half left not bad just wanted to start off with doing a little bit of vlogging together because we in last week's weekly vlog we were barely together yeah yeah, good week, huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Look at us being together again. Hello. And I'm going back to London today. Yeah. And we just worked out we won't really see each other. And leaving me. Friday night. Friday. Friday. Hmm. Mm. Let's squish. Let's put our cheeks on to each other. Oh, let's do this side because my wisdom too is sore. This side's not so right. I'm like mm -hmm. squish. No, like front on, oh. but squish. No, you head, that's not you front mean. on. So look forward. No, you don't. That's not like. And then just like mm. squish. Ow. Like squish. Mm. Like try and make each other look as ugly okay. as possible using your cheek. Right, hold on. 
It's not, it's because you it's haven't got much cheeks. So Ow! Okay. My wisdom tooth is coming through and it hurts so bad, doesn't it? You wouldn't know what it does, really. So it's just this one here. I'm going to London in my train's at quarter past two. It's now 20 past 11. Harry's got work today. He's sulking because I've had parcels this morning and he hasn't. No, so he's been them. sulking. Amy, I know you never get them. I'm sorry. We can't all be fashion bloggers. Can we? We can actually. The market's saturated enough, Harry. I don't want you no, getting we can, in there though. too. We can all do what we want. <laughs> Okay, we're in London now, and we're Lindsay. We're a little bit stressed because we're late. <laughs> the thing started 15 minutes ago, and we've got like 40 minutes to get there. Because it's on the other side of town, but we will make it there. When do you want to get there? Just putting my shoes uh, 10 minutes, we were meant to be there 15 10 minutes. minutes ago. <laughs> so, you've got to take us back in time, please. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> but it'll be worth it when we get there. It'll be worth it. <laughs> I know it's alright here, but follow your heart, dear. I know your dreams are clear Don't you know we all fit Don't be afraid of who you want to be Remember I'm here So mama, 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 maybe you should She's gramming, gramming, <laughs> well, gramming all the day. Right. Shot from the street told me to write that she's here and I love her. I did. No, don't say I told you to put no, that. No, but you did. No, but don't put that. Okay. Just say shot from the street is here and I love her. Oh, for God's sake. Don't get rid of the told me to. It makes me look uncool. <laughs> Noises that you made in the taxi. <laughs> what? Oh, no. I couldn't get my words out. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's day now. Thursday. I've been this morning for a lovely massage with the lovely girls at Shop Style. And now I'm at the Hamyard Hotel again, which is where we have the Pandora event, for an event with Danon Light and Free. I did a blog post with them quite a while ago. Do you remember when we went to that morning Gloryville rave? That was the, like, I can't remember what month it was, but you might remember that. Um, and we're doing a workshop today of like fashion illustration things. It's going to be really good. But first, I need to show you this terrace that we're on because it's absolutely beautiful. So this is the same place as I just said, as where the event on Saturday was. It's a gorgeous hotel. We've got so many different rooms. Wait till you see this. Okay, so these tables are where we're going to be drawing. All these lanterns. And then, look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> Gorgeous, and it's a beautiful day. And then there's like fruit over here. Oh, lanterns. It's just pretty incredible. And all the yogurt. Look how nice they've set everything up. So, so delicious. It's not a bad Thursday morning. <laughs> excited because I'm home for the I don't know, actually have any plans to go anywhere really in the next few weeks I'm sure something will come up but I'm definitely home for a good solid week now which is such a good feeling and um, so hopefully the rest of this vlog will be quite relaxed and home like um just nipped into Marks and Spencer's picked up some food for dinner we we'll also have a couple of goodie bags from the event this morning. So let's see what's in them, shall we? Uh, um, right, okay. This one 
This was one from was from the Light and Free event, which is the one that I vlogged. So you got the colouring book, which is by Dominic, which um, was one of the guys there who were doing the collaging thing with. And it's like a fashion illustration colouring book. He was really, really, really sweet. Headphones, everything has light and free stickers on it. So some headphones as well, pretty handy. And then what are these? Oh, watercolour pencils. Harry will have these off me. These won't stay mine for very long. He'll steal those. And let's see. There is also a little notebook with some blueberry headphones on, which is cute. And then a watercolour postcard sketchbook. This is a really, really, really nice little goodie bag. And then some watercolours as well. What a lovely goodie bag. That's so different. And then from Shop Style. I got a headband, which is definitely handy because my fringe drives me nuts most of the time. Some blowout spray by Label N. Creates volume, heat and UV protection. Does it now? That's a lot for one thing to do. Um, well, some very glittery and cute nail varnish. Some lip gloss from Stila. Um, I don't know what color, oh, in the shade Glow EG. And then some body butter from Mandra Spa, who were doing the massages there. This is lime and coconut. Oh, that is, that is so good. I love smells like that. So those are pretty good goodie bags. Oh, and some um, emoji badges, which Harry will also steal from me. Oh, thank you to um, Shop Style and Light and Free. Very generous goodie bags. So this evening I am going to do a little bit of work, but I've not got too much to do really. It's so weird how it's gone from how stressed I was earlier in the week to now feeling relatively chilled about things. Um, good weird though, obviously, I'd rather be chilled. So I'll do a little bit of work, but mostly probably just in front of the telly now and watch Bake Off. I've got Bake Off to catch up on. Something in this fridge smells. Don't you hate that when something smells? What is it that smells? Hello everybody, I'm just going to make a quick cup of tea. The time is 5 to 12, so it's just the morning. I have been, wait, I'll wait for a second because that's so noisy. I've just been doing a bit of work this morning, but I am. Um, we've just got our contract through to renew here so really i've been thinking about home things this morning and i'm going to make a cup of tea and start basically what i want to do now that we know we're definitely going to be here for another year once we've signed it we haven't signed it yet but um i want to make a few small changes nothing too much i don't want to spend loads of money on it really because obviously it's not ours so you don't want to invest too much but the main thing I want to do is throw some stuff out and have a little bit more space rather than just be like constantly drowning in stuff all the time. Um, and the first room we're going to start with, which I'll show you in a minute, is an absolute bomb site at the moment. It's the spare room. Um, we had so much extra furniture in here when we moved in and we still do have it. But I'm trying to try desperately make that room work a little bit. We've been told that we can throw some things out. Like there was, I can't remember how many there are, but I'll show you. There's loads of filthy like disgustingly filthy cushions on the sofas when we moved in so they've been in a wardrobe for a year because they wouldn't let us throw them out last year but now they've said that we can so that frees up that wardrobe space so basically i want to sort that room out so that it can become a bit more of an organized storage space because as you're going to see in a second it's far from organized but let's make tea first while the kettle boils i'll show you it now okay so we're just in the hallway turn the lights on we, i am doing washing at the moment so it's extra messy but this is when you walk in. This parcel is for our neighbours, so that's why this is here. And then washing here. But these chairs, um, our office space was the dining room when we moved in. But obviously we needed somewhere to work, so it's now our desk. So these chairs normally go into the spare room of doom. Are you ready? Look at the spare room of doom. Okay, so in the spare room of doom, we have glass tables here, clothes here, Enough shoe boxes to make a really impressive shoe box fort. Suitcase and bags everywhere. Harry's new drum kit here, which is definitely an issue in terms of storage. Our old TV that broke there. 
another glass table, bed, bedside tables, the bed needs changing, a teddy bear. So it's an absolute tip as you can see and it's gotten gradually worse and worse and worse because you know when something's messy, you don't make any effort to have it tidy. So we literally like, this was what I took to fashion week, so just wandered in and threw it on the floor there rather than try to put it anywhere. Um, but I'm gonna try and tackle this a little bit today because it's a pretty big room, like as you can see, it's a pretty big spare room. Oh, what am I gonna do with these? We'll see, we shall see. I need to go to the tip and stuff and get rid of that TV because it's broken. Back making tea. I have actually got quite a lot of stuff to do today because I've got, I've ordered loads of things for um, the next testing basics, hint, hint, and they've all been delivered to various shops because I always get to the parcel set to a shop if I can. So I need to go pick those up. I need to go pick up some birthday presents for people, things like that, um, which I don't want to do tomorrow on a Saturday. That's like the joys of being self employed, you just get to miss busy times for things um, but I'm waiting for a parcel for a project I'm working on with H&M which is actually going to be really really exciting um, I don't know if it'll be up by the time this blog post is up but you guys are going to really enjoy it I think it's going to be quite an interesting one so I'm waiting for that parcel I can't go anywhere until that comes which is so annoying honestly so much of blogging full time is about waiting for parcels you won't believe it waiting for parcels chasing parcels around it's crazy so that's today so i may as well crack on with the spare room task while i wait for the parcel because i can't really do any more work so i've got out and got the bits that i need to get also while i'm talking to you here i'm to, this weekend going to get some other bits to sort out so one of the things i'm going to get is a new bath mat very exciting a bin for in here also very exciting um, I think that's going to be it for now and then I'm going to stop and think about it but I'm going to go out and get those things this weekend and it's going to be a good weekend I think so doom has been completed let's move on to step two after a brief tea break i am finally free parcel didn't come it's coming on monday now so not the end of the world at least i found that out and i still have time to go out and get everything i need to get so what we're doing is picking up three parcels four parcels four parcels actually uh posting Hurry days for sword that he doesn't want back. I need to stop and think about which direction I need to go in. I'm gonna go this way. And also picking up some gifts and posting those all in one go. Let's go. I also need to go to Cos to look for something else for testing basics. And that's it. The rest I'll get at the supermarket tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. Trip to Cos done. I've got gifts in the bag for life. We're on a roll. Here we go. Next stop, post office. We're just at the pub, way for Harry to come on. been guan in today. That's guan in. Um, Guax guan in. I'm cooking a Mexican feast. Um, I'm doing guacamole. I've got a tinga de polo on the go. I'm going to do a pork, like a smoky, sm smoky? A smoky porky. A smoky pork and black bean tacos. Um, I'm going to do some stuffed potato skins 
with spring onions, cheese. Sounds good. Make some jellies. We're making some salsa as well. Do some chicken dip. That's what's going on. Will you just empty the dishwasher? Put the things away and put those oh. things in it. While I'm there, uh, trying to cook four different meals. Yes. We have a second and we're all going out, aren't I? So, yeah. Ta! So, the reason for this Mexican feast is Paul, who I shoot my film pictures with, and his girlfriend are coming over for dinner tonight. So, I just need to get, because we're having Mexican, we obviously have got to have margaritas. Oh, there's a wasp in here. Um, so, the big wasp. So, I'm just going to get out, going out to get some tequila because we didn't have any in Asda this morning. What the hell, ginormous Asda? No tequila. And then we had to pick up some coffee from the post office, like the Nespresso pods, and stuff for a banoffee pie, which is what I'm going to make for pudding. I'm back at home now, we're just catching up on the bake off. Harry's chopping up some chorizo. What's this for? The potato skins. Potato skins, yeah. I am just letting my base for my banoffee pie cool. Oh, yeah. So this has to chill for like an hour. I just want it to not be like piping hot when it goes in the fridge. So that's where we're up to. It's an absolute tip in the kitchen. The rest of the house is spotless. Hey guys, everything has gone rather smoothly today and I have not opened my laptop once, which is not like me. I'm just going to light the candles. Oh, how are you just putting the hairdryer on? Hold that thought. Moment of truth. Smells good. Oh, there's something missing. It's not meant to be that strong. Have you put the sugar syrup in it? No. Well, there must be something else in it, apart from just alcohol and lime. Where's the sugar syrup? In the mug by the thing. Oh, let's re-Google. It tastes, it tastes kind of right, but just intensely strong. Can try that. Let's <laughs> drop that. <laughs> Oh, it's still really strong. I feel like you could split that in two. It's really good, but woof! Yeah, it's strong, isn't it? Oh, no, I've not eaten all I've really had today is biscuits and special K, so I don't want to drink too much. Although I have a lot of biscuits, so I'm probably alright. Judgmental one. Why have we just had breakfast? Yeah. Oh, why? Where? Wow. Yeah. Which is wow. home sweet home. And it was delish. Hello. It's ten to six. Um I was just on the phone to Emma who has been in the vlogs before hula hooping. I should been in the vlogs a couple of times actually. Just on the phone to her and doing a little bit of work but in a very, very chilled way. Like doing a bit of work, my side of work, which is online shopping, which is shockingly a relatively large portion of what I do, spending time online shopping for things. And I'm doing that bit of work, which obviously just is not work at all because it's online shopping. So I'm just doing that, but yeah what am i gonna say then i've been eating banoffee pie that was left over from yesterday all day which is not good not good at all um and harry's at work till 10 which is poo i wish we could have had like a whole sunday together we had a nice morning at least i was gonna sort some stuff out today and have a bit of a clear out upstairs but first thing i can't be asked at all i so you know when you do that thing when you decide you're going to clear something out and you empty whatever like if it's a cupboard or whatever you empty it all onto the floor and then you're like why have i done this i don't want to do the rest of it now i know i'm going to do that so i'm not doing that anymore i'm just going to get on top of work and then next week and next week's vlog is all going to be about organizing and getting stuff done and sorted because i'm at home i'm in manchester all week next week so that is going to be the theme. I'm just going to get on top of stuff a little bit more, sort some stuff out, get some things for the flat. Did I tell you that we bought the bin? You know I was saying the other day that I was going to get a bin for the flat? We got one. Here it is. It's very, very lovely. Let me show you properly. So this little beauty was from Asda. It was £20. It's already got a bit dirty, which is always a thing with, with a bit of a stainless steel bin. 
can't tell you how much of a difference it has made having a bin because this is the most boring thing ever but I'm going to tell you. So previously this was our bin here which is so teeny tiny and fits like nothing in it. So we'd always fill that bin in like a day and then take the bin bag out and have the bin bag just here and then use the bin bag as the bin. So we'd just be on the floor. So then I thought let's treat ourselves. You only live once. Aha! A bin! And now I live a wild life. Hello. Okay, I've just got into bed. Just downloaded on my phone. Does anyone remember Farmville? I think it's probably been an app for ages, but it was like big on Facebook, like, I don't know, five years ago, maybe more. Just downloaded a version of it on my phone, which I feel is gonna be a mistake. Anyway, ooh, good music. So I'm just about to do that and wait for Harry to get back. And then I think we're just gonna watch a bit of TV in bed, but I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here. Um. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think next week's is going to be good, I hope, because I'm going to be organising stuff. I'm going to be at home all week, and I love vlogging when I'm at home all week. It's just so, like, oh, it's so nice. Um, so, yes, got to get to Farmville, farms to look after. So I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello. Okay, I've just got into bed. Just downloaded on my phone. Does anyone remember Farmville? I think it's probably been an app for ages, but it was like big on Facebook, like, I don't know, five years ago, maybe more. I just downloaded a version of it on my phone, which I feel is going to be a mistake. Anyway, ooh, good music. So I'm just about to do that and wait for Harry to get back. And then I think we're just going to watch a bit of TV in bed. But I'm going to end this weekly vlog here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I think next week's is going to be good, I hope, because I'm going to be organising stuff. I'm going to be at home all week and I love vlogging when I'm at home all week. It's just so, like, oh, it's so nice. Um, so, yes, got to get to Farmville, farms to look after. So, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog and I'll see you in the next one.